Hi there guys, how are you doing? Hope you're having a good day. I just wanted to come on today and talk about um, when is the right time to take your CBD. So talking about each different delivery, delivery method today. So um, for those of you who don't know me, I'm Jem, Lawson Jem, a hemp and CBD health coach and I help busy parents look and feel healthier via my transformational course, Jem 420, high quality CBD products, hemp based recipes and meal plans and group support. Start living that healthy life you deserve. So yeah, like I said, I wanted to come on today and talk about when is the right time for taking your CBD for each delivery method. So before deciding which time of day is best for you, it's important to understand that the delivery method used for CBD changes when and how often it should be used. This is because each method is absorbed differently in the body, some more quickly than others, while others have a slow but more longer lasting effect. So the quickest... Um, but also the slowest um, effect is inhaling. So inhalation using a vape pen is a fast delivery method. Since CBD is quickly absorbed through the um, alveoli in the lungs, the CBD hits the bloodstream quickly. So within minutes of inhalation, CBD reaches peak levels in the bloodstream. This does mean though that the effects can wear off quickly too. So whatever your goal might be for using CBD, a vape pen is probably best used as a more on a needed basis in addition to regular supplementations using other methods so someone might take say capsules or tincture instead of inhale um, and then have the inhaling to like, top it up which then brings me on to capsules and edibles so cannabidiol is available in an edible form swallowed in a capsule or taken as a gummy or sweet of some form there are also products that dissolve into drinks as well um, water soluble and um, liquids and powders uh, since these methods have to be digested before the cbd enters the bloodstream they are slower acting it can take uh, one to six hours to reach peak cbd levels in the bloodstream for this reason the del this delivery method is best used with a goal of supplementing for long term and won't work well um it won't work as well as as on an as needed basis so you want to be taking it regularly rather than just oh, i want one now some now Deciding on the best time of day for this method of delivery comes with two considerations. What fits into your lifestyle and when you eat. Remembering supplements and medication isn't easy. To consistently keep up with your daily um, CBD routine, uh, you want to re weave it into your normal routine in a convenient way. So take it alongside other supplements or at the same time each day. Since eating when you take an edible or capsule can increase the bioavailability of the CBD, it's also a good idea to eat um, alongside um, using a capsule or eating an edible. Which then brings me on to oral delivery, which are tinctures generally. So oils or tinctures are typically taken um, by placing them under the tongue where they're quickly absorbed into the bloodstream at the receptor site. This delivery method isn't as fast acting as inhalation, but it's still fairly quick with the CBD reaching the bloodstream somewhere between five and 20 minutes from use. The effects of oral delivery are also longer lasting than vaping, however it can take hours for peak levels to be reached in the bloodstream, so just play that in mind. As far as timing goes, this method can be used as a daily supplement once or twice a day as needed, even though it doesn't need to be digested. Um, using CBD after, uh, eating um, after you've uh, taken your CBD may increase absorption of the CBD, so it's a good idea to take alongside a meal or snack in my opinion. So then it brings me on to like talking about timing and effect. So CBD users have offered up varying antidotal reports about how CBD makes them feel. Some say that it makes them feel energised after use, while others report it has a more calming effect. So it's important to pay attention to how CBD affects you before you decide, or as you decide on the best time for using your CBD. So if you're feeling energised, opt to take it in the morning with your breakfast or at lunchtime to help you feel better throughout the day but also to avoid sleepiness at night if calming of sleeplessness sorry if um the calming effect is what you're um after considering waiting until after your evening meal to take your cbd the effect of cbd can vary from person to person so don't be afraid to make changes um as and when you feel you need to based on how you're feeling you know a cbd coach like myself or a healthcare provider who um works with cannabis products, may be able to offer you an additional insight into getting the best results. So I'm more than happy to talk with you in a little bit more detail if you want to work out a plan for you. So there really are so many products in the market these days, guys, it can be a minefield. So let me help you cut through this confusion and um, 
find the right product for you basically so um yeah if you want like i said before if you want to talk any more about um anything hemp kind of is cbd related you know where i am drop me a message if you feel anyone would benefit from seeing this then please feel free to share it i'd love to spread the floor some gem hemp and cbd word um and but before I go, I just want to quickly say, please note, CBD is neither a medicine nor a cure for any illness, and by no means do I make any medical claims. CBD can help to maintain and support your health and a healthy lifestyle. So, yeah, I just want to say that, guys, to cover myself before I end the video. So I'm going to leave it there on that note, guys. Have a lovely rest of your day, and I will speak to you really soon. Bye-bye.